Remarkable Women, sponsored by Palomar Health. It is Women's History Month, and all month long, we are honoring some of the most remarkable women of San Diego, and that includes finalist Jean McAllister. They say there's power in your testimony. I'm a recovering alcoholic myself. Um, in November, I celebrated 67 years of being clean and sober. Um, and I want to share that with others, that they can do it as well. And in Jean's case, the power of her testimony is evident in the thousands of lives that have been changed because of her convictions and what she chose to do with them. I had a lady come up to me in a grocery store and say, are you Jean McAllister? And I said, yes. And she said, I went through your program 26 years ago. I have raised my children. I own my house. I have a good job and I want to thank you. You know, that was her dignity. Jean McAllister founded the McAllister Institute 47 years ago. It provides substance abuse treatment and education to those who want to be freed from the strongholds of drugs and alcohol. And more than that, she wanted to offer those who struggle with substance abuse compassion. I also want people to know that it's not their fault, that, that you never know that, that you're going to be an addict until you take a drug or take a drink. Jean was nominated and ultimately chosen as a finalist for San Diego's Remarkable Women. The McAllister Institute helps approximately 20,000 people each year, and yet she still finds room for humility, a truly commendable quality. Well, I feel very honored, but I also feel that, you know, there's so many deserving people. Christina Denciel, Fox 5 News. And Jean is joining us in studio this morning. Congratulations. First of all, I can see why you're being honored. I mean, it's pretty special what you're doing, Jean. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, well, I have a lot of really good help. I just want to clarify one thing. I didn't get clean at two. I'm 91 years old. You're 91 right now? I'm at 91 plus eight months. So soon to be 92, but I just want people to know that uh, life goes on and it's beautiful when you're clean and sober. You look amazing as 91, by the Thank way. Thank you. Amazing. Where does your passion and your drive come from? For, for you to do this work, from what I hear, was 47 years. That is a really long time to stay in something. And I love every minute of it. I, I was telling my grandson that I couldn't work a job that I didn't love, and I do love this job. And um, even though I know that I'll be stepping down, I will still continue to carry the message that recovery works, that you can do it, that, um, that this is a, a good way to live, uh, and that you can come out of the darkness. So my passion is to empower people and let them know that they can get clean and sober. I want to stay on that messaging if we can, because there could be people watching right now, Jean. Uh, you've walked this path, you've been on this journey, and for you to sit here now and then you're being honored and recognized for the work that you're doing for the community. If there is anybody watching right now who may be in that dark time, what would you tell them? I would tell them to give me a call. And my number is 619-987-6393. I do accept the calls and I can help. So uh, people have used that number. I go to bed at 11 and I wake up at six. So anytime between those hours, you can call and, and you'll get an answer and I will hope, find a way to get you into some kind of treatment. Wow, what a feeling uh, that must be for somebody to realize that they're not alone and there's somebody, there's somebody there. There's somebody there. Right, and, and we have 26, different programs McAllister Institute does we have detox so we have kind of from the beginning to the to the uh, beginning of a new journey for each person uh, you have children and great-grandchildren beg your pardon you have children and great-grandchildren yes you I have, have uh, my in fact my granddaughter will succeed me as the next CEO of McAllister Institute and that's happening next year yeah. amazing what do you want them to know of your legacy and all the work that you have done? I would want them to know that they're not alone. 
uh, that people aren't alone, that they have a power greater than themselves, that they have other people out there who care and love them and want them to succeed. Yeah. I can see why you yeah. were nominated. You're, right. you're amazing. Thank you for being here. And congratulations, congratulations on being nominated. Yeah, thank you so much as, as well. I feel so honored, but I feel that also that I need to honor the people that do all the heavy mm -hmm. lifting. You know, we have people that help other people. I go to graduations and I always thank the staff because they make McAllister Institute and myself look so very good. Yeah, so thank you, staff. Mm -hmm. There you go. Thank you, staff. Gene, so lovely to meet you, and congratulations again. Thank you. Thank you. All right, we're going to take a short break. We'll be right back.